Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV! Let's go grab this weapon. It's just like an ordinary sword. I like this line, no matter what version of the game it is, or the translation of the line. For boss time! Okay, first things first. Hide! Absolutely have Edward hide. He will not survive. Mega Flare! This will probably kill some of us. I love that they got the kick-ass boss music for this part. Nice touch. Oh, we even survived. Nice, okay. Well, I don't need to revive anyone. I was planning on it, but, well, you don't have to. Return! Uh, let's have Cecil to stand by for reviving, if in case ba Dark Bahamut decides to kill one of us. Or, well, you never know. Cecil's not going to deal that much damage to this guy. Okay, first things first. Now that we've got Edward back in action, let's go box wine on him. Uh, Dark Bahamut, unlike the original Bahamut, is considered a dragon-type monster. I don't know why the original Bahamut isn't, but, well, there you go. But anyway, up to this point, he hasn't cast... Well, you'll see. You can keep using Flare on him for now. So far, we're doing pretty good. I got the battle speed turned all the way down for this one, so that way Edward can take maximum advantage of his incredibly high speed. Do that, keep on focusing, keep Cecil on standby. Yeah, now he's using Reflect, so Flare won't work anymore. Let's see. Uh, I'm gonna keep Rosa on standby. I was thinking about using another Kiraja, but nah, I think we'll be fine. But now, I want Palom to use Meteor to bypass Reflect. If you've got Rydia in your party, then you probably want to use Bahamut. Or you could just kill him like that. Hooray! So much easier with Edward in the party. And for defeating Dark Bahamut, we get the Ragnarok Sword. Alright. Probably one of the best, well, the best weapon in the original Final Fantasy IV. So let's take a look at his stats. 76 Strength, 53 Stamina. Give that to him. Huge Attack Power Boost. And it boosts your Strength and Stamina a lot more. So, oh, wait. Just want to see, yeah, Edward's got 14 attack multipliers. Okay, Yang has 16, but still, that's pretty good. Any way I can boost his speed a little more? Eh, probably not. I think that's all I can do. Okay, well, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to backtrack a few floors and fight some more enemies. Okay, we're back here. This particular battle that I promised I'd show you. So let's do that now. Let's use a siren in this particular room. Fight Flan Princesses! Let's go all out against these guys. These guys have about, I think they have exactly 20,000 HP. Now, when you're fighting these guys, you want to use spells like Meteor, Bahamut, you name it. Anything that does mass damage to all enemies if you can. Now, the problem with these guys is, well, first off, they're ultra rare. The only way you really can meet up with them reliably is with a Siren. I've never met up with them without one. But, anyway, uh, the problem with these guys, well, you'll see them. Yeah, they can berserk you guys. Now, I've got the crystal mail on Cecil to avoid that problem. Hopefully, they won't hit Palom with that. Kind of wish I got a ribbon for him already, but oh well. Now, in this version of the game, you can use Asuna or a remedy to cure the berserk status. I don't think that works in the previous versions of the game, if I recall correctly. I forget. Well, Yang being berserk will actually help us, so let's just fast forward through the animation. Yeah, what happens is when you fast forward, it fast forwards the animation, but not the sound effects, so yeah, it gets desynced a little bit, but oh well. Would you mind berserking Edward? That would be nice. No, not that I really need it, but let's uh, help her out. Um, yeah, use a high potion on yourself, whatever. But yeah, two. Two meteors ought to do the trick. Come on. Okay. Okay, looks like that worked. Okay. At least revive Edward so he can hide for the remainder of the battle. But yeah, that's the only trick with this battle is that they can berserk you, so that can be a bit of a problem. If they berserk Callum, then I'm pretty much screwed. Come on, Edward, hide! But anyway, there's a particular reason why you might want to fight these guys. So, let's, uh, get through the... Oh, 
Well, yeah, I'm gonna keep Edward or Cecil on standby to cure anyone who really needs it. Nice. Kind of weird that they got the chocobo music going here, but well, whatever works with these guys. I wonder what the point of these guys were. Well, I mean, I know why you want to fight them, but why did they put a, put them in the game? I don't know. Okay, one more. Yeah, got it. And for defeating them, come on. Uh, I didn't get anything. Okay. Well, anyway, the reason you want to fight those guys is you can win a pink tail from them. It's ultra rare, like a 1 in 64 draft. But you can exchange that with the guy you gave the rat tail to at the Adamant Grotto. And he'll give you the Adamant Armor for it, which is obscenely good. I wonder if it's still that good in this version of the game. There was a bug with it that gave you like 99% of aid or something. It was ridiculous. Not quite as ridiculous as the Apollo's Harp now, but still pretty damn powerful. Alright, for winning that battle, we get the Minerva Bustier, which we're supposed to get here, and I got lucky in one more Artemis Arrows. Alright. And now, yeah, now I actually want to equip the Minerva Bustier on her. Uh, let's see, she's got 51 strength, 26 speed. Let's equip that on her. Yeah, look at that attack power boost. Plus 15 strength and speed. But you lose a lot of intellect and spirit for that. So basically, you're making her into a pure, almost a pure uh, melee fighter. Well, maybe not melee, because she's using a bow now, but... You know what I mean. Pure physical class. I prefer doing that for now because there's just a lot of dragons. For now, I, well, actually, I'm probably going to switch that up pretty soon. But eh, I'll leave this one in because I can do that one in about five seconds. There we go. Okay, so let's see. Uh, Rosa. Now I actually, for this next part, I want to put her in her pure mage setup. Yeah, that ought to do. And use a cottage. Yeah, I've been using a lot of uh, Palom's flares for blue dragons, Auraman, you name it. Let's see what's in these rooms over here. What's that? Looks like some kind of stick. Oh, or a holy lance. My name is the plague for boss time the plague horror now with this guy uh pretty much just use your absolute most powerful attacks holy flare you name it your goal is basically to kill him as quickly as possible or you will die uh, that's why i gave rosa even her oh i don't even have holy yet huh usually i do by now well, that puts a damper on my plans. I'm not, I'm not gonna bother switching my weapons because I don't have the right equipment set up for it. Oh well. But anyway, yeah, he uses that uh, countdown thing on you, whatever it was. I suppose I could use Bacchus Wines if I really wanted to, but nah. Well, that was easier than I thought it would be. But yeah, Yang and Edward just have such high incredible speed. It's ridiculously good for this fight. For defeating him, we get the Holy Lance. The strongest weapon in the game for uh, for Kane, if you're playing the original. I could save, but now nah, let's just keep going here. Uh, let's see, for this part, yeah, I'll keep you the way you are. Let's heal up. We're good to go. Okay, lots of bosses today. How did I get into a random battle on the tile... Or on the spiked tile. I didn't think that was possible. For boss time! Okay. Now in this battle, these guys are considered dragons. So let's go Bacchus Wine. Uh, holy Elemental Weapons. Those are good here. That's why I got the God Hand going. Uh, let's see, for these guys... Oh! I probably could have equipped... Well, I suppose it doesn't matter now, but... Oh, he's attacking either one. Well, whatever. But yeah, they use Reflect on themselves, so... Oh, okay, I guess I don't need to worry about that. I was going to say, I could have equipped Yang with Flame Claws, but he's already dealing max damage anyway. So I suppose it doesn't really matter. And I, again, I could have used Artemis Arrows, but... Well, I didn't feel like it. Uh, yeah, why don't you just attack there, Yang? 
I'd like to try and get in, or kill this guy before Meteor happens. It doesn't have to be, but it would be nice. Wow, this is so much easier with the new equipment in this version of the game. Holy cow. No, literally. And in these chests we get two ribbons. Two. Two ribbons. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, so let's see. I want to give those to Yang because his headgear sucks. Oh. Okay, uh, Rosa? Okay, never mind. I'm going to uh, go back to the save point, use a cottage, and rearrange my inventory somehow. Okay, we're back. Uh, let's see. I want to give the ribbon to Yang and to Rosa, because they, their he other headgear, not so great. And Cecil already has immunity to status ailments. Uh, Palm, I want still on the Hypno Crown because I like the intelligence boost, and Edward, I like the, the speed boost for him. Well, he doesn't really need it, but... Now, well, whatever. But, anyway, uh, Rosa got back on her maneuver, Bustier, so, uh, let's move along, then. That's all the new enemies around here, and the treasure, for that matter. Man, with that Minerva Bustier on Rosa there, Cecil's spirit is higher than hers. That is sad. <laughs> and of course, like all good JRPGs, final area has to be a crystal-like area. Absolutely! You gotta have the crystal area. That's how it's done. More shuriken. And pretty much every battle here is a boss fight, so yeah, this one is pretty tough. Well, let's see. First things first, yeah, he likes to cast and reflect on himself. And he's considered a machine-type enemy, so that's why I want to use the lightning claws, lightning arrows, that's why I brought those along. And now let's go all out. He's going to do like Dark Bahamut, where he's going to bounce spells off of himself over and over and over again. Come on, Yang. Finish him! No, no, no! Ah! Damn it! Uh, couldn't enter my commands fast enough, or I did it too fast. I wanted Yang to actually attack. Ow! Please tell me Yang... Okay, Yang just defended. For a second there, I thought he, like, switched rows or something that would be, like, really bad for me. Up. Usually I'm much better at this fight, but no! Um, revive? Thank you. Well, I'm not doing nearly as well as I usually do here, but okay, never mind. Wow, Cecil's doing really good with all that crystal equipment. I think the Ragnarok boosts his spirit, too. Okay, last one. Um, yeah, I think we're good here. Oh, wait, uh, Rosa. Right. Yeah, she's not going to be too useful in that department. For boss time! Okay, this is Ogopogo, whose name is never changed from one translation to the other. Oddly. Oh, wait, um, Cat Claws? Thank you. Probably should have had that to begin with. Uh, nothing too special about this guy. Just make sure you use, uh, well, Flare, Bahamut, your most powerful spells, whatever. Sometimes he'll do that, too. Uh, I don't think... Eh, let's use the Spider Silk on him. Why not? Uh, he's basically a lot like Leviathan, only much, much, MUCH harder. Oh, he likes the counterattack stuff, huh? Nuts. Uh, I better get to Rosa's turn real fast, or he's gonna wipe us out with his next real attack. Yeah, he counters spells like that, apparently. Nuts. Well, fortunately, Kiraja is pretty much instant cast in this version of the game, so we're doing pretty good here so far. Not bad, not bad. Let's go with another Flare! Well, so far, he hasn't used his title wave on us, surprisingly. I guess I'm just keeping him... There are some bosses, I don't know if this is one of them, but there are some bosses where when you make them counterattack something you're doing, they it'll take up what would have been their next turn for some bizarre reason. I don't know why. 
But I do know that that is the way it is sometimes. I, I just don't know why. Um, yeah, let's go with another flare. Never have enough flares. I love the instant cast spells. All right, got him. I'm surprised I got him before he could tidal wave us. Before defeating him, we get the Masamune. All right. Well, I think we've gotten all the ultimate equipment in the game, but will it be enough to defeat Zemus? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy IV! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!